Man, I am so excited for today's KTV video. I'm all ready, I'm in my pajamas. I got my cozy blanket, I'm sitting next to my Christmas tree and I've got my favorite beverage and my favorite mug. It's a turtle. Well, hey there. My name's Kayla and I'm so excited that you decided to join us for today's episode of KTV. I'm so excited to share today's video. Now, I know you guys are all a little bit tired since you probably just woke up. So let's do something to warm up and get us a little bit more awake. So let's stand on our feet and let's do today's dance. Come on, everybody, let's go. Now that we're all warmed up, let's go over our verse for this month. It's from Luke 2, 11. It says, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Now, I'm going to say it, and you guys repeat after me, okay? Ready? Okay. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke 2, 11. Good job, everybody. Now, let's get ready and hear what our story is going to be about today. It's always so good to see all of you here. We're celebrating this whole month here at KTV and the reason is simple. What are we celebrating? 
That's right, Christmas. Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. We talked last week about the hope we can have because God kept his promise to send Jesus. I don't know about you, but turning, but during this time of year, I have so much joy when I think about what Christmas day will be like. I get super joyful when I think about celebrating with my family and friends. And you know what else I'm joyful about? The story we're gonna share today. So let's put our listening ears on and get ready to hear our story for today. Do, 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 do. It's story time on KTV. Welcome to our very own special old tiny version of the story of Mary. I am so excited to tell you about it. You might even say that I'm experiencing quite a bit of joy. Hit it. much joy, but Mary's story didn't exactly start out with joy. It began with Mary wondering what in the world was going on. You see, Mary was an ordinary girl from an ordinary town called Nazareth. She would have grown up learning the Jewish scriptures, so she would have known that God had promised to send a savior one day, but I don't think she ever imagined how God's plan would ever involve her. At the time of our story, Mary was engaged to a carpenter named Joseph. Mary and Joseph probably expected their lives to follow an ordinary path, but one day, everything changed. Suddenly, Mary found herself at the very center of God's plan for all people, for all time. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. He told Mary that God had a big plan for her He said, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset and must have looked terrified because Gabriel said, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. Now, this news was a lot for Mary to take in. She was going to have a son, the son of God. And he would be the long awaited savior who God had promised his people hundreds of years earlier. Gabriel also told her something else. Your relative, Elizabeth, will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary must have felt scared and confused, but her answer to the angel was full of faith and courage. She told him, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then Gabriel left. Mary was amazed at what the angel had said. Not only was she going to have the baby, God's son, but her her older relative, Elizabeth, was going to have a baby too. It seemed impossible. Mary hurried to visit Elizabeth. Listen to what Elizabeth said to Mary when she arrived. God has blessed you more than other women and blessed is the child you will have. As soon as I have heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. Whoa, did you hear that? 
Elizabeth's baby jumped in her belly when he heard Mary's voice. Mary was so filled with joy that she sang a song to God. Mary said, My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Savior. He has taken note of me even though I am not considered important. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him. He is filled with good things. Those who are hungry, he has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He has only done it just as he promised to our people of long ago. My soul gives glory to God. He has taken note of me. He shows his mercy. He keeps his promises. My soul gives glory to God. He has taken note of me. He shows his mercy. He keeps his promises. My soul gives glory to God. He has taken note of me. He shows his mercy. He keeps his promises. Nice job, everyone. Mary realized that God was doing what he had promised long ago, and he had chosen her to be a part of it. At the end of three, of three months, Mary returned home to Nazareth, ready to see how God's plan would be unfolded. Mary understood that God had a plan and a purpose for her life, and that gave her great joy. God has a plan for each and every one of us too. You can have joy because God has a plan for you. Let's pray and thank God for the joy that he gives us. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our savior. We can see how Mary trusted your plan and you filled her heart with joy. Thank you for reminding us that you have a good plan for our lives too. Help us find our joy in you because your plans are always good. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being on this week's KTV video and for tuning in. It brings me so much joy that I was able to teach you something from the Bible today. I hope that from what you've learned today, you can share it with a friend and bring joy to someone else. Well, I'll see you guys on next week's KTV video. Bye.